So, Magni, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's a great pleasure and an honor to have you here. Um, as I've been explaining to you, what, what we're doing here is collecting information about pioneers of heart surgery. And for sure, you qualify as one of the preeminent pioneers in the field of congenital cardiac surgery as well as adult cardiac surgery. Thank I'm you interested for saying for, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested for you to tell me what, what do you personally consider to be your greatest contributions to the field, to the development of the field of both adult and, and pediatric cardiac surgery? And how, how did those developments come along? What was the intellectual progression of ideas that led to those? amazing contributions that you've made? Um, it's very difficult to, to single out something. It's just like asking uh, which one of your children you love most. <laughs> uh, uh, they're all very special. And then um, contributions. Uh, sometimes I feel that um, it's not people, but it's more ideas mm -hmm. uh, which mature and drive people. I, I feel proud of uh, actually making use of uh, basic science uh, right. and engineering uh, in trying to understand uh, congenital heart disease in particular, mm -hmm. but also valve disease and transplantations. These are the areas which excited me a lot. Um, and. Uh, if, uh, if we take, for example, valve disease, that has been an absorbing thing for me. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, work originally with Lord Brock and then uh, Donald Ross, and I witnessed uh, the evolution of homographs and tissue valves. Um, but also I witnessed a whole lot of uh, problems associated with that and uh, the concepts of uh, getting the very best out of tissue valves and studying how they interact with the body and what is important in terms of uh, preserving uh, both the functional and structural relationship of these valves uh, in terms of the root replacement uh, the valve conserving operations for aneurysms of the aortic root. I found that really very absorbing. And more recently, uh, just why uh, living valves, whether it is the Ross operation or tissue engineered valve, both in humans and animal models, uh, are actually perfect and how they interact with the body how, are, how they are regulated by biological factors which influence, they can change uh, their uh, shape, size, uh, stiffness. Uh, remarkable, really, uh, at a terrific speed, uh, which I firmly believe that uh, that uh, will translate into patient benefit both in terms of quality of life and uh, longevity.